Hey everyone, thanks for watching. In today's video, I am going to talk about the ability to capture room analytics inside of the Control Hub. I did a video some time ago that showed people count and facial recognition and those types of things. In this video, I'm actually gonna take it a step further and show you the, those real-time analytics showing up in Control Hub, how you can get them toggled on and how you can you know, view them and leverage them in your environment. With that being said, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're new here. We're gonna dive in and check it out right now. I'll assume you can get logged into Control Hub. Once you're in, navigate to the Workspaces tab. You'll have your workspaces come up here. I have two. Uh, we're gonna pick on Adam's office because this is a device that is in my office. Uh, it's a huddle space, it has a WebEx board, 55S installed and it's right in front of me here. So it's looking at me with the camera. I use it in calls occasionally, that type of thing. Uh, I wanna look at the real-time utilization metrics that you see on the right-hand side of the screen. Now there's a couple things here. Uh, these are all set up and configured, so they all are populating, uh, or at least populating some data. First of all, the device is idle, so it is not currently in a call. The room is in fact occupied. Again, I'm sitting right in front of the endpoint, and the number of occupants is one, because there is one person here, it just happens to be myself. So with these, uh, there are some settings that have to be enabled and you can actually do this right from the control hub as well. Uh, and it guides you on how to do it. How do I enable these metrics? Well, you can simply click, click here. I actually have people count out of a call enabled and that's how it's, it's getting the people count outside of the call. The camera is actually technically activated looking for uh, faces and recognizing that, hey, there are humans in fact in this room. The people presence detector is not enabled, uh, so I can actually open device configuration and it's gonna take me right there uh, and I can look at uh, right here, people presence detector and I can turn this uh, on or off, either way uh, and uh, yeah, go, go from there. So uh, when you're done making your changes, simply hit close and those settings are saved to the endpoint. Another section I wanna point out to you, uh, and that is the real-time environmental metrics. So this is not necessarily the uh, you know number of humans and so forth, this is actually characteristics of the room itself. So uh, sound level, this would be ambient noise and just background noise and that type of thing. So if you're in a street level office in a big city, you might hear a lot of sirens and cars going by and things like that. So if you have a noisy HVAC system, you get the idea. Uh, you'll see that noise here. Uh, it could indicate that, hey, there's people in the office, or it could just mean that something is noisy there and the experience isn't gonna be uh, as great. This is a WebEx board. It does not have the sensors, but you can also get temperature and uh, air quality and things like that from some of the newer devices, such as uh, Desk Pro or the Navigator. Uh, tablet, which is the, the replacement of the Touch 10 that was just announced uh, pretty recently. Um, but anyway, this is the area for that information. I'm actually gonna go ahead and enable the sound level uh, ambient noise detection. So again, we just go in, room analytics, uh, ambient noise estimation. I'll put the mode to on and save it. And then when I close that, it'll take a, a few moments to update, but we'll start getting that information estimated in the system as well. There we go, the sound levels have been updated. We can see the, uh, the sound level, the ambient noise, uh, information, both of those items are presented there. I was just talking, so the sound level is up much higher than it was when I started when I wasn't talking. All right, so you might be wondering, why do I care about these metrics? Well. Probably the biggest thing is experience. You want the meeting room to be comfortable from a temperature perspective, from an air quality perspective, and you want people to be able to experience the meeting at a high quality level. If there's a lot of ambient noise and just background noise, HVAC noise, or, or people talking in the room outside, those types of things, as the video conference administrator, you wanna know that and you wanna uh, remediate those problems so that your users have the best experience. 
Another thing that's particularly of interest right now is to know how many people are in that space. Are there more people in that space than perhaps should be from a uh, you know social distancing perspective and those types of things? You can see that information here as well. Of course, uh, this is real-time data. We can only assume that uh, graphical historical data is going to be coming as well. Stay tuned for that. With that being said, if you have questions, comments, tips, tricks, other ideas, use cases, those types of things, leave them in the video comment section below. I always love to hear from you guys. With that being said though, thanks for watching and I hope to see you back sometime soon.